What's up, y'all? Mike Donahue from 10th Avenue North here in the uh, largest small group ever. Sitting here on my front porch. Welcome. Got my big Bible. Bam. Got my coffee. Boom. Oh, it's delicious. Ready to do some Bible study. And of course, I get one of the craziest passages there is. We're going through 1 Kings, okay, if you don't know, chapter 3. And it's about Solomon, King Solomon. Don't know if you know who he is. King David's son, known to be really wise, right? And this is the story of how he gets wisdom. And I just want to say, if you don't know this already, if you didn't know this about the Bible, the Bible is not a book we read and go, this is a story of a bunch of really great people who did all the right things. And I should try to be just like all these people. That's not the purpose of the Bible. The purpose is the, of the Bible is to show you, look at all these really stupid people who did really stupid things and who God still redeemed. This, the, the Bible is not a story so much about what we do, but more about what God has done for us. So when we, we approach this, we have to look at Psalm and go, he's not a perfect dude. In fact, right off the top, in chapter 3, you see that he makes a marriage alliance with uh, Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. And, and he takes Pharaoh's daughter and marries her, even though God had already commanded Solomon, don't marry the girls from these other countries. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but he said the reason you shouldn't marry them is because they're worshiping other gods, and they'll lead your heart astray. And so this king, who is known to be really wise, look what we see him doing. We see him doing something really stupid and unwise, and doing exactly what God told him not to. But God still, even though, and this is really cool, because God still sees Solomon's heart. And even though Solomon didn't have it all right, and didn't have it all together, God still appears to him and says, Hey Solomon, I want to give you whatever you want. Now, I want you just to stop and imagine that God says this to you right now. What do you want? I'll give it to you. What do you want? I mean, the disciples, interestingly enough, when Jesus said these same words to them, when they first met Jesus, he says, what do you want? You know what they say? They say, where are you staying? So the disciples, when Jesus said, hey, what is it that you want? They said, I just want to be where you are. That's a pretty good response. Solomon here, he says, hey, I'm king. Give me wisdom. I don't know what I'm doing. He realized there's this, this sense of humility in him now. He's like, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Give me wisdom. God says, you got it. Boom. And then God says, hey, and because you asked for wisdom, that was really humble of you. Truck. He goes, I'm going to give you riches and fame and all this stuff because I know that you'll know how to appropriate it. And then right after that, you see these two ladies come. It's this real weird story. Both these ladies, they're prostitutes, they have children, one of them dies in the night, the other prostitute, or the prostitute whose child dies, she goes and puts that child in the other lady's bed and steals her child and tries to act like, no, 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 that's your child. And the lady's like, this isn't my child, give me back my child. So they come before Solomon, like, what, how, what are you going to do? And Solomon brings out a sword, and you think, you know, he's going to exact some justice here. And he says, give me the baby, I'll cut him in half. Uh, the one lady, you know, whose son it really is, she's like, ah, no, give it to her, fine. Just let him live. And Solomon's like, it's your baby, I can tell. Genius. But here's the takeaway. I mean, there's a lot of things to take away from this, but we don't have a whole lot of time. So, simply put, what we realize here is that true wisdom is supernatural. And true wisdom isn't given to people who are good enough or smart enough, you know, can like figure it out on their own. True wisdom comes when you come humbly before God and you say, God, I don't know how to do it on my own. I need you. And when all you bring is your need to God, it's enough. In fact, if you bring more than you need, or if you bring more than your need, you probably bring too much. So if you need wisdom today, if you need to know what to do, lay before God and say, God, I'm an idiot. 
redeem me, show me what to do. Hope you have a good day.